through the rest of this. So let's pull on ahead for Leon versus Jen. This is losers 12th. This is to make it into top eight. Yeah, correct. So we're going to have a little bit of an extended uh, period here. Winner side of top eight is already stacked out. We still got a couple loser spots up for grabs. The winner of this will go on to play Suarez. And both these guys losing relatively early into the bracket. So we'll see how things, you know, work out here. Jen has definitely had uh, you know, quite the run today, as has Leon. And there we go. Bowser, tough guy. Already making his presence uh, well known in a matchup that I, you know, I don't think it's as bad for Bowser as you might think. You know, as one might believe, but you know, we'll see uh, what Leon brings to the table here. Yeah, this is a matchup that Leon is certainly familiar with, and I feel like everyone should be aware of as far as the New Jersey crowd is concerned when it comes to fighting the likes of Politana as a big body. You know, Leon's gonna be combo food for most of it, but when he gets his hits in, it's gonna really matter. And of course, lingering around those platforms is going to be so important for Leon turning reversals against Jen. Yeah, obviously. And here we go. We're, we're Essentially, even, you know, percent-wise, that downer will go punished by Jen. You see him trying to get creative, falling through the platform with the up air. Maybe trying to pull the wall out from under Leon's eyes. And there we go, the Yoki joke with the side B. Still refusing to say die as Palutena, though. Very surprised to see that uh, working out for him right there. And just like that, great reversal there from Jen. Living the Bowser bomb, able to get the, uh, the back air. And the equalizing back air immediately coming up from Leon. Dang, man. Yeah, never a dull moment in a matchup like this. Even though Jen... Reigns supreme when he's in control of the ledge. It's finding that spot to breathe and really set up on Leon where he's going to need to really make those few moments really count. Because when it comes to the damage race, yeah, Jen can get those sick combos off. He can get two or three of them. But Leon just needs a couple of good hits and all of a sudden we're back at that tied race. Yeah, it's two, it's, it's essentially the, the race of like the tortoise and the hare. You know, one person gets there quicker, but one person's just like, okay, I just got to take my time and, you know, I'll, I'll Garner the same results. I feel like the, the number one thing in this matchup that's going to be important is going to be stage control because Leon's going to want to try and bring us to the platforms as often as he can. That way, Flying Press has the better chance of killing. And then on the opposite side, Jen's going to want to bring this battle to the ledge. But most of all, both these guys are going to want to battle for center stage. Battling out from center stage is super important for both Palu and Bowser. Yeah, and a big factor also uh, you're seeing right there is the ledge pressure. Valentina, one of the best characters at keeping you trapped at the ledge with Bowser. You know, on the other side, also very good at that. That high recovery from Jen will get punished by the forward tilt of Leon. So great stuff there. And Bowser sitting at 142. He's definitely not fearing much unless he's in an offstage situation to force to recover. Except for that also, you know, the down throw to the raw bear, Jen. He's not, he'll, you know, 10 times out of 10, he's going to make that confirm. So. Like, he's so good with it. You gotta be, man. Palutena doesn't have a lot of confirmed, you know, windows and stuff. So you definitely have to uh, mash it up the best you can. And here we go. Those low percent Palutena combos on a heavy. Twitter is sleep, but I mean, you know, hey, win's a win, baby. A casual 63% off of one of exchange. Definitely gonna help Jen because I feel like in these bouts of neutral is where Jen's gonna struggle the most here. Just because Leon has a really good sense of spacing with Bowser's normals. And of course, he's gonna get so much more off of each individual hit. But if Jen can rack up that damage super quick, get the battle to the ledge, all of a sudden things looking much sharper for him. Yeah, so that was a rough situation for Leon where he was forced to recover low, but Jen respecting the recovery of Bowser, not wanting to go off too deep, and now finds himself on the other end of a ledge guard situation. Rolls in and looks like uh, Leon was trying to position himself uh, to punish that, but just a little slow in the draw. Leon's on the hunt for something big, but it's forward air that's really keeping him in control right now. And even from out deep, Jen managing to come back, but to what end? Flying press going to annihilate Palutena and give game one to Leon. Yeah, that was a fantastic, uh, you know, exchange on the ledge right there. You know, both players doing a great job, like I said, capitalizing on when the other person, you know, was forced to get out of the ledge in disadvantage. You know, Bowser having these huge hitboxes you know, to kind of keep you in check. And on the other side, Palutena having a variety of moves that cover, you know, both the air and the ground around her, to, you know, if spaced properly. And like you said, Leon making great use of that forward air. The, the Pac-Man hitbox, as someone put it, where the, the range of that move is absolutely absurd. So let's see what adjustments Jen makes here in this game too. Really just being more wary of Leon once his percentages climbs is what's going to really make a difference. If Jen can play it out a little bit safer, like that'll be big. Just for at least avoiding a little bit of the damage. Because look at this. Off of two interactions, not only has Leon built up the percentage ahead of Jen, <laughs> but now almost had him in position for kill. Yeah, and you see Jen, that's a big thing you also have to be conscious of. Leon loves 
to do down air disadvantage. You know, Ghana's a solid fall of the past, but still, that move is comes out very, very quick, and the hitbox on it makes it really hard to react to. So let's see how much damage you can kind of you know mitigate from off of that. There you go, once again, the ledge yeah, pressure situation yeah, is firmly in favor of Leon. Now you're starting to see the Whirling Fortress uh, coming out. It's just such a good move, too, because getting him off the shield is so important. And look at that already. Another stock built up in Leon's favor. Yeah, you don't really get to see Whirling Fortress too much in this matchup, I feel like, because Palutena is constantly, like, coming at you from above. So you know immediately she's going to jump, but it does not matter. Whirling Fortress right there is going to get bodied uh, you know, by the back air. Jen... Going low on an edge guard, not something you saw him do a lot in that first game. So let's see you know, if that becomes a factor again as he starts, uh, you know, get late. That was such a good sequence from Jenna. So, of course, we see a lot of positives here in in New York. But I feel like there's none quite like Jen when it comes to really trapping his opponents in. Rar Nair is super important for extending those combo chains because if your opponent's trying to DI away from Nair, now you're just giving it even further into the Nair. You're just asking for further extension. And Jen's super patient and waiting for Leon's responses out. He's not showing his whole hand just yet, but he's still racking up his damage in brutal fashion on Leon. Yeah, the beautiful game of whiff punishing, but just speaking of the devil, uh, Leon gonna get a punish off of that whiff grab from Jen. Does that matter though? Jen immediately able to right the ship, now find himself back in the driver's seat on the ledge right here. But the falling there to the back air, goodbye, ma'am. That's the last hit of it too, at the very end. But all it does is even up a count as Jen very quickly takes that stock. It brings us right back into the last stock situation. Yeah, if there's one thing Jen's done a really good job of, but whoever's down is that both players are doing a great job stopping the bleeding. And that is so huge in these, you know, tight sets. And here we go. Once again, Jen off to the races. You know, a quick 48% off that exchange. Neither of these players can really, like, concede the bleeding battle here because the momentum behind Bowser or Palutena is so brutal, regardless whatever character in the cast you're trying to fight each other with. There you go, up tilt gonna buy some time. Great weight right there um, from Leon, but Jen just out of range uh, for, for the side B to connect. Now the lead is starting to slip a little bit away from Leon. Not gonna be in any danger of dying off the top unless Jen, you know, commits hard on the double jump for the up air. Almost killing off of it, but let's see, what's the play? So, all right, Leon's just gonna bring himself right on back. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a grave mistake for Jen not securing that stock right then and there, but once again, down throw, Rar Bear ends it out, and we got the 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, again, the importance of knowing your kill confirms that those, you know, those, uh, you know, last hit situations are huge. If Jen wasn't able to get that, that could have potentially been uh, in a bad situation for him, but again, you know, staying packed, you always have to be wary of Bowser when you're nearing those like super high percents just because he doesn't have to play on the same level on the same playing field as you. Right, right. He, gets right. To, he gets to cheat a little bit because of how heavy he is. So Oh Lord! All that time in Mexico has uh, <laughs> been well spent. Too many one too many bottles of Haritos. And here we go, the, the Terry Bogard is here to play. A character that Jen has been playing, he has of recently. You know, so uh Finds himself up to uh, or up in an even game here. Maybe it's a stage choice. I mean, I feel like Pollard does all right on Battlefield, but there is a lot of potential for Terry to extend combos over those flats. And on top of that, the very general <laughs> game plan, annihilating your opponent really early on to get a lead, working out well for Jen. But even more so than that, fighting out from center stage, that defend the fortress style of play with triplats, works so well for Terry, especially after he gets past that 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Almost nearing the threshold now to get the go meter on deck. And here we go. Does not matter yeah, though. There Leon. he goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leon immediately cleaning up house right there. And that is so huge against Terry. You don't want to let this character hang around for too long with his meter uh, fully charged. Now, here's a matchup where I feel like the boon of Bowser is really just the fact that he can explode a stock regardless of percentages. Because if you have to deal with Terry at higher percentages, you're not having a fun time, especially if. Uh, Leon is forced to recover on high and has to worry about Power Geyser. And that's gonna be... No, not death. Oh, good DI says otherwise. Yeah, and that's the hard part, I feel like, in this matchup uh, for Terry, is that because none of his aerials uh, snap the ledge immediately, he is uh, just screaming to get F-tilted by Bowser. And there we go, the flying press off the top rope. And that will be uh, second stock gone. So Leon finds himself up... <laughs> 
Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. Right, Leon. You know what? I understand. <laughs> the secret slime action is Bowser side. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Terry's recovery is mediocre at best. So. That's a nice way of putting that. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just being frank, Frank. That's all I can do. <laughs> All right, so Jen sticking with the Terry, even though he runs himself down two games to one. He's here. running back to Battlefield, no less. All right, let's see what's uh, what's Jen's play here. Right, the Sonic Boom or the uh, what's Power the wave? yeah? No, what's the side be calling it? I forget. Oh, um, Burning Knuckle. Is that what it's called? I think Burning yeah. Knuckle. Yeah, yeah, it's Burning Knuckle. So. <laughs> Burn, Burn, Burning Knuckle. This that's Streets of Rage. Oh, I love that game. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love that combo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jen going uh, ham sauce <laughs> for that uh, stock right there. But, you know, not paying the price for it. Again, you haven't to be so precise with your recoveries as Terry because Bowser are having so many options to uh, just blow up your recovery below the legs if you're not careful. See, Jen trying to control space with those F-totes. Dove has, does have invincibility on the legs. So definitely a viable option. Forward tilt's especially a really good move for confirming into a lot of the kill moves. Like, forward tilt, high key one of the best moves in Terry's kit. Oh, but, yeah, for sure. Uh, not coming into play just yet. Plenty of shield pressure. Yeah, Where are we going? Applying good shield pressure with the uh, the jab jab into the power dunk, but unfortunately, gonna get punished for it. And here we go, the uppies out of shield, proving to be the ultimate cure all uh, for Leon here. It gets command oh, grabbed again, and there right he goes. on back down. Yeah. Again, when you're up, when you're Bowser the lead, you know he doesn't have to do anything about that because Terry's recovery is just not that great. So great exploitation of the matchup from Leon. If he gets another one, who's to say he won't do it again? So Ooh, Ooh. falling up air. All right, so we got some extensions here. Unfortunately, not too much percentage. I like how Leon's angling the fire upwards. He's trying to cover every possible angle that Terry trying to mix things up from. There you see Jen trying to confirm into the uh, the burning knuckle, but it's coming up short. A will connect right there. This is the first time uh, Jen's reset the go meter, at least to do something, but does not matter at the end of the day. That'll be a 3-1 in the hands of Le uh, Space Station Gaming, uh, Leon, newly sponsored. So breaking his ninth place curse. Uh, Leon has been getting ninth place at a lot of you know big tournaments recently and now finds himself in the big dance. Uh, once All again, right. moving on to fight, uh, get a rematch against the guy that sent them into losers in this tournament in Suarez. Ooh.